How is speaking like cooking? And how can you create the best dish for your audience? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. I like to cook. It's a, it's a way for me to relax, think about the day I've just had, plan for the next day, even work on speeches while I'm going through them mentally while I'm preparing food. Well, I've discovered in cooking various dishes that you can overdo it with spices. Let's take chicken, for example. And just looking at my phone here on a an on, popular online recipe site, there are different spices you can add to your chicken. There's cilantro, there's rosemary, sage, oregano, thyme, marjoram, tarragon, garlic, and others. If I'm cooking chicken for the family, I, sometimes I like to experiment with different herbs. Well, I discovered something by trial and error that if you add too many herbs, you can ruin the, the meal. A couple of spices combined can really bring out the taste of the main dish. However, if you blend too many, they counteract each other and they can, excuse the pun, leave a very bad taste in the mouth of the person eating it. What does this have to do with speaking? If you've seen some of my other videos, you've heard me use the analogy of the Chinese buffet where we overstuff our audiences with too much information. Well, we can do that within our stories too. We can put too many details or we can try to create too many messages. As you're creating your next presentation, ask yourself this question, what is the one idea I want the people to take away? How do I want them to think, feel, and act differently when I'm done speaking? These questions will help you determine what to leave out of your stories and presentations. And this is an idea I don't hear too many coaches talk about. It's not so much what you put in, it's what can you take out? The more you take out, the leaner you make the message, the more clear it is, the more likely you'll have an impact on your audience. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.